amazing day, isn't it? Two days after returning from his trip to Newcastle, Chris is called out by the lifeguards on patrol at Bondi Beach. What's down here? Yeah, it's just down there. Harry's is watching it. We've had a yellow belly sea snake wash up on Bondi Beach. Oh, I'm surprised it hasn't had a lash at him, actually. <laughs> um, probably might do the work for it, yeah. I think everyone's yeah. been trying to get rid of yeah, Harry's. Yeah, yeah, Harry's, yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, section eight at the best of times. <laughs> He's moving, he's moving, baby. See, the snake's moving, so he's well and truly alive. <laughs> yeah, we've got the right man for the job. Brownie's coming down shortly, so just stand by. Oh, is it a cobra? No, it's not a cobra, it's a sea snake. Are you sure? Have people been walking past yeah, no, it? Yeah, no, people have jumped over it. At Bondi Beach, Chris has been called out by the lifeguards to rescue a maroon sea snake. In a way, because it's such an awful day, it's been a blessing for the locals. Thousands of people run on this beach every morning, and one of them was going to step on him. This snake could bite them, and if he bit them, they'd be fighting for their life. They've got quite small fangs, yep. but they still have a really incredibly toxic venom. I mean, it's, it's meant to be one of the most potent toxins in the whole animal world, really? so they will bite if, if people really threaten them. Yep. The reason he's come ashore is because He's normally out to sea, he just wouldn't have the strength to fight against the, the current. So he's just been blown ashore, and that's why he's so exhausted. There's only one man that can handle the job, and it's Chris Brown. Here we go, he's coming up now. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. I did nothing. Oh. So he's, he's looking at you. He's... <laughs> and he may make a bit of a rush towards you there. I'm just gonna try and catch him here. The sea snakes can't really stay out of the water for more than a couple of hours, otherwise they do dry out. So. It's important we get into the aquarium where he's going to be put into a rehabilitation tank. If he can recover, get his strength back, then he can be released. But it's one hell of a battle he faces. You've obviously got pretty close to him. Have you thought of a name? Mate, I'll have to call him the Hoff. He's washed up and the, I think the Hoff's washed up too. <laughs> thank you for, for looking after him and thank you for, for everything else. Mate, Just... I still read it as a cobra. I still read it. I know you went to university and that, but I'm sure it's a cobra. <laughs> Chase, where exactly are you taking me? I'm seeing signs that are worrying me right now. I see sharks. You see sharks? Uh, the Hoff and I are going to be safe. The Hoff's going to be safe. <laughs> this way. What we'll do, we'll give him a bath yeah. and then we can have a look. Okay. At the Sydney Aquarium, marine biologist Jason is taking over the Hoff's rehabilitation. The Hoff, even though it's a sea snake, is a lot like a boat because boats sitting in water for a long time will accumulate barnacles and, and all sorts of little organisms and, and he's no different. So he needs to keep on shedding his skin to keep these guys off. That's come up pretty well. Now this is pretty loose, I won't even have a go actually getting his skin off. The Hoff naked. That's something new for you, you can say you undress the Hoff. <laughs> He's got a, a lot of muscle mass, he, he seems to be reasonably solid. So I'll give him a week or so to just relax without any, any interference, just monitor him. And then when he's comfortable, get a few feeds, get the condition, and then when the seas are right, we can hopefully release him. Hoff, you can't escape rehab. You're here for a reason. Embrace it. <laughs> All right, mate, hey, time looks, for a nap. He looks pretty good. He does. He's settling in nicely. Yeah. He's been a good patient, mate. He's going good. He's gone through detox. He's eating again and we'll set him into the big pond. Two months later, the rehabilitation is finally over for the hop and he's heading home. Chris rescued the venomous sea snake after it was stranded on Bondi Beach during a storm. Here you go, Hoff. Sydney Harbour Bridge. Opera House. Let's tick that box. Uh, Gilles, I reckon this is about right, mate. Talk about a transformation. He's shinier, he's sleekier, he's put some weight on. The Hoff is back. There you go, buddy. There he goes. That's positive. Mate, job well done. Good on you. Great start. Pleasure. Hi, 
I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.